Welcome to day 68 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're briefly going to look at the spline integration, the new feature released on the Webflow Conf last week. This is an amazing update because now you can directly interact with the spline graphics on Webflow. So let's briefly have a look and see how to do that in action. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the steps from the beginning. Now I'm on Icon Scout. Icon Scout provides 3D illustrations and icons and all that. So I have this icon that I want to download, uh, which is a toggle and I want to animate this on click. So I can download it here in JLB format. So I'm going to do that. Now it's downloaded. I'm going to go to spline.design. I'm going to log in, I have an account, so I'm going to create a new file and then and then I'm going to delete this rectangle. I'm going to import what I just downloaded, so I'm just going to move this here. So now I have this toggle here, you can see this is a 3D toggle that is there. Uh, so now I just need to set it up a little bit. So we can turn on auto zoom so that uh, it gets responsive and uh, it's best to group the item I want to be, you know, manipulating and this is the item and I'm, I'm grouping it to name it uh, toggle, just toggle and then basically I will be animating it by moving it like this, maybe Yeah, we'll just move it. We can see it in preview. We can see that it's pretty small. We can just uh, resize this. Okay, so I resized it now to the size. So I can preview it here. I can see how it looks like. Now it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna export it. Click on export, go to play settings. Uh, I'm going to manipulate some settings, so I don't want a background color, no page scroll. I do want a cursor because I'm going to use this on click. I can turn off orbit, pan, zoom, soft orbit, all that. I'm going to turn off zooming, pinching, page scroll, all that. And actually, I need to go to viewer. And now when you go to viewer, you have this new field that is just the URL. And this is exactly what you need for uh, Webflow. So now that I have copied the link, I just go back to my Webflow website. Now I have this example done and we're going to go through the animations there. Uh, I have this bento box here and I will add a spline scene inside. I will paste in that URL and you see I have the, the graphic here. Now I'm going to call this uh, bento or spline 6. And yeah, it's going to be 100% width, 100% height. Actually, I have spline 6 there. Yeah. So this is my spline animation, uh, my spline graphic, and I'm going to animate it from the interaction panel. I'm going to use a mouse click animation, start an animation. I'm going to call this bento 6 click and it will basically have the animation uh, an animation of spline. So this is like how Lottie animations you, was or is still, I, I think it's still there. And then uh, we're gonna animate, what are we gonna animate? We're gonna animate toggle. Uh, so toggle is, what is it? Okay, so it's 0 0.12, you see the position here on the x-axis 0.12 and we want to make it perhaps minus 0.12. So this is the animation. Uh, and to do that, so what we'll do is 0.12. That's where it is now. And we'll duplicate. We'll make minus 0.12. So how will this play out? So this is just Okay, so it's starting from zero. Let's say this is the initial state, so it starts from there. Okay. And then on second click, it will 
go the other side. So let's duplicate this one and say click two. Yeah, click two. And it will basically go to 0 0.12 and this won't be a, let's make it an outquart. It won't be a initial state. Let's make it outquart easing. And you know, see that. Okay, so let's test this. Nice. This is super cool. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. As usual, a link to this clonable is down in the description below. Feel free to clone it and uh, do share with me what you come up with on top of this. I would love to see that. Uh, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow in day 69.